absent. Well, the Boston Bruins finally got their man during the 2010 NHL Draft Weekend. No, we're not talking about Tyler Sagan, but David Warsawski, who you're watching tonight from Boston University. Back in 2008, the Bees were eyeing him in the 97th pick in the draft, but the Marshfield native was taken by St. Louis at 95. But on the second day of this summer's draft, the Bruins acquired the defenseman for Vladimir Sabotka. I'm a Bruins fan, but now I'm a St. Louis fan, so. We acquired David Warsawski from BU uh, for Vladdy, Vlad Sabotka. We just made that trade. Yeah, I was really surprised. I had no idea about it, actually. And uh, it was the day of the World Cup. The uh, USA was playing, um, I don't even remember who, but I was at my brother's house watching the game with a couple of them. and. I got a call from my advisor that I had been traded and I had no clue about it. David Warsawski officially pulled on the spoke B at the Bruins rookie development camp this past July. But the Marshfield, Massachusetts native had ties to the Bruins even before then. While at Cushing Academy, his assistant coach was none other than Bruins Hall of Fame defenseman Ray Bork. It was an unbelievable experience. Uh, most of the time you grow up in your coaches, you know, you kind of, sometimes you blow it out the, blow it out the ear, but with him it's, uh, Everything's world class. He, I mean, everything he says is right. Uh, just the level he's played at, he knows everything. So, kind of uh, having that as a coach and having him as a coach was, I mean, I don't think anybody could ask for a better coach than that. So, it was an unbelievable experience. And, uh, I mean, I'm really good friends with his son, so I see him all the time. It's just, it's unbelievable to have a mentor like that. Warsawski's teammate and close friend at Cushing was Ryan Bork, Ray's son. Three years later, they celebrated together at Center Ice as members of the 2010 gold medal winning Team USA at the World Junior Championships. It was unbelievable. I think uh, that whole year last year was a whirlwind for me. And then uh, to obviously celebrate with someone you've grown up with your whole life was definitely an unbelievable experience for me too. Uh, just standing there on the blue line with him just made it even more special. Warsawski's hockey resume is chock full of noteworthy achievements. He was a member of the 2009 BU NCAA championship team his freshman year. And last season, after he won that World Junior Gold Medal, Warsawski scored a goal in the Frozen Fenway game. He marked that goal with a unique celebration. Uh, actually, me and Adam Krause were in the locker before the game. We were just thinking some stuff, you know, we're always thinking goal celebrations. He actually came up with the idea. And uh, Coach Parker's not really too big on celebration, so I said maybe if I score, I'll, I'll do it, but I wasn't too sure. And then I scored, and it kind of just happened. I didn't really think about it after that, so it's just kind of something we both came up with in the lock, and I decided to go with it. Entering his junior season at BU, Warsawski has assumed a more veteran role for the younger Terrier Blue Liners. The BU captains know that Warsawski will excel at that role as smoothly as he rushes up ice. He's a great defenseman. He's probably one of the best defensemen in the country. You know, the way he plays, he's offensive, but he's a great defenseman too. So, uh, as long as he stays healthy, I think we're going to be successful on the blue line. You know, he's molding his defense back there too. There's a lot of new faces, you know, a lot of freshmen playing. So, you know, they're doing their job too. But Dave is, you know, obviously one of the big pieces to the puzzle. You know, you know, as long as he plays well, we're going to be doing pretty well. Today.